what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna look at something which is a little bit of a new one for me we're gonna look at a shotgun which is in the top slot introduced all the way back in season 16 of course i'm referring to the ragenhild d aka the counselor in battle if, if you wanted to know what ragenhild means that's essentially what it means it means ambassador or counselor in battle and this is a weapon, when we look at its base stats, that has a fairly, fairly decent impact stat, but not that great range stability and handling, at least those three stats being kind of close to one another. Now, since this is a craftable weapon, we can choose which perks and which, you know, magazine and which everything else that we want, barrel and so on. And so therefore, we can try and make this weapon as effective as possible, whether we use it in PvE or PvP. And more specifically, we can try and hone in on exactly the things that we need to increase those substats, which are not that great and accentuate the impact value a little bit better. Since this is a top slot weapon using special ammo, it means that you need to consider using something else in your secondary slot that might be of the, you know, primary ammo variety so that you can use this as a way for you to deal with tougher enemies, essentially something that lets you smash through, you know, some of the yellow bars on the way to the boss at the end of a strike or activity. But firstly, we're going to look at the PvP build for the shotgun. Now, when it comes to PvP, one of the more important things specifically with a shotgun is, first of all, you want that first shot kill. And secondly, it might be more important for you to stack a little bit of range on a shotgun because then you're able to get that first shot kill and all of that damage hitting an enemy from a little bit further away and not having to actually stick the shotgun in their chest and pull the trigger. Now, to help us out with that, we're going to start off by using small ball. Small ball gives us an equal amount of stability and range, and it gets us a little bit more elevated on those two stats to start getting to the point where we can pull off shotgun kills from a little bit further away. Now, in the magazine, we pair that with the assault mag. The assault mag gives us a shitload of stability additionally, but what it also does is it increases the rate of fire for the shotgun. Now, in situations where you don't drop someone with that first shot, it's super important that you hit them with the second one. And two things are important with that second shot. You have to actually hit it, and that's where stability is going to help you. And secondly, that second shot needs to come really fast, and that's also where Assault Mag is going to help you. So just a really, really good choice here, and something that you should consider trying out if the weapon feels slow for you with those follow-up shots. Now, since this is a craftable weapon, we have access to enhanced perks and specifically when we look at the two or i keep saying perks but you know i mean traits we have access to enhanced traits and specifically when we look at the two ones which pair really well on the shotgun in the trait one slot perpetual motion of course should be mentioned and should be there this is a stat or a trait that helps you a lot by raising your stats as long as you are moving around a lot now in pvp generally speaking this is what you're doing by default and oftentimes when it comes to playing shotgun you might start to fight out a little bit further away you pop off a couple of shots with a hand cannon or maybe shoot your your your, your pulse rifle or something like that the enemy starts closing on you you start closing on the enemy you quick switch to your shotgun and you pop them now during the entire time there you are moving and so therefore you are benefiting from perpetual motion now we pair that in trade two with elemental capacitor and elemental capacitor might be more impressive to you or less impressive to you depending on which actual class or, or or you know which subclass rather you are running and what i mean by that is elemental capacitor gives you different bonuses depending on whether you're running solar arc void or stasis in the case of solar it's going to increase your reload speed in the case of arc it's going to give you better handling in the case of void it's going to give you better stability and then last but surely not least in the case of stasis it's actually going to control your recoil and give you a bit more movement speed when you aim down sights now i generally don't aim down sights when i use shotguns i usually shoot from the hip so for me solar is really good here with the increased reload speed that's really phenomenal and then also void here is pretty tasty with the increased stability now, in terms of our trait here, we have Haka Breach Armaments, which says that this deals more damage against vehicles, turrets, barricades, and stasis crystals, which don't really help us in PvP at all, but it's not like we can pick something else, so it is what it is. 
we absolutely take range in the masterwork and once we do that we actually we, we see the range stat increase all the way up past 40 to around 45 with a stability of around 51 which is about as high that we as we can stack this comfortably on this weapon without deteriorating some of the other things on it so this puts us kind of like in the ballpark of having something that can engage from a little bit further away and then deliver that kill shot now last but not least when it comes to the legendary weapon mod yeah you have some options and even though this says icarus grip there are some other ones which you might prefer here i simply put icarus grip in here honestly as kind of like a placeholder icarus grip of course increases your airborne effectiveness which might not be something that you're doing with shotguns you're not going to be jumping around and shooting guys in the in the air with shotguns although i've seen fucking people do it but some of the other you know two other mods which i can absolutely recommend here would absolutely be let me just find it here quick access sling which is really really good this essentially increases your ready and stow speed this is important with a shotgun because sometimes what you want to do is you want to put a couple of bullets into someone and in that pre that previous example that i was uh, you know explaining someone might be closing in on you and then you just quickly roll to the shotgun and you pop them now this weapon doesn't have a ridiculous amount of handling from the rip so what you want to do is you want to give yourself a little bit of additional advantage there and of course quick action sling can do that now one other thing that you could also do you could give yourself backup mag and give yourself another you know bullet uh, or rather slug in there and uh, I, I don't know targeting adjuster i don't particularly think is is you know really really good here uh freehand grip can be something that you know works for you which increases your accuracy when you shoot from the hip and it also gets you a faster ready speed as long as you don't switch to the weapon and try to go to scope you switch to the weapon and you shoot from the hip that's also going to be quicker so that might be the alternative to using something like you know a quick access sling but you got a couple of different options here uh probably icarus grip is like the worst one of the lot but again like i said i put it there so that it would be a talking point and that we could you know essentially discuss it then we get on over to the pve side now here a lot of things are going to stay the same and some things are going to change first and foremost on our barrel and our magazine we keep it exactly the same as pvp small ball gives us some increased in our stability and it gives us some increase in our range which is the two stats which are kind of like hyper low with the shotgun so we grab that we get assault mag for those fast shots out and that's going to pair really well with the trait that we take in our trait one slot and that is of course subsistence now how subsistence works is when you defeat an enemy it re reloads a portion of your magazine from your reserves back into the weapon so this works really really well with the shotgun because while you don't have a huge amount of bullets in the mag every time you kill something which generally is one shot to kill something you're going to get a bullet back so if there's a large group of enemies those six shells that you have in the shotgun will be able to carry you through the entire fight without having to actually rack in additional shells now when we pair that with frenzy which is a fantastic trait that is available for i would say pve weapons of this kind due to the fact that generally uh, okay so first of all let's explain how frenzy works so frenzy's frenzy essentially activates the longer you are in combat so if you're in combat for a longer amount of time it increases the damage the handling and the reload of the weapon that has frenzy on it now this works really really well in pve because generally speaking you are in combat for longer in pve than you are in pvp pvp is you walk into a room there's one asshole in the room you kill him or he kills you combat's over uh, unless there's another fucking dude hiding behind the door or something like that you know that's it whereas in pve you are in combat let's say for instance when you walk down into an area there's a bunch of enemies close around you there's a fucking sniper up on the ridge and there's a boss coming up walking down the road towards you now as long as all of those enemies are shooting at you and doing what they're doing you are going to be considered in combat and therefore frenzy is going to be available to you and as long as frenzy is active once it procs you have that increased damage now that pairs with subsistence which means your shots are dealing more damage and every time you kill something bloop, you get a shell back into the shotgun and it's just a lovely little engine that works around now hacker breach armaments as our origin trait here means that we deal additional damage against vehicles turrets barricades and stasis crystals the main issue with this and again it's not like we can pick other you know origin traits here but the problem here is i do like hacker breach armaments on weapons i like the fact that i'm able to deal more damage against you know vehicles like land tanks and fucking bikes that drive around and all that and I like being able to deal more damage against turrets. 
but the main point is this is a shotgun so you got to go close to those things and generally speaking going close to either one of those things that i just mentioned right now is bad for your health so it doesn't really pair very well but again it doesn't mean that we should spend any more time on this because it's not like we can pick something else on our masterwork we absolutely take range because again we just want to be able to shoot a little bit further away from this gun and still secure that first shot that one shot kill and then last but not least on our mod for the weapon we take major spec because this is going to be the weapon that we use to kill yellow bars you know enemies not bosses but you know sub bosses or you know henchmen or whatever the fuck you want to call them lieutenants as usual here you can see both the pve and the pvp build that i just discussed so you can easily take a screenshot and you don't have to keep coming back to the video and that's also going to be it for the video thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far let me know how you set up your ragen hill d which traits you chose what makes you feel more comfortable when you use this shotgun and if you even prefer using this or if you rather use something else as a shotgun when you can there are certainly many many viable shotguns available in this season and i feel that ragen hild might be a little bit on the low end of that spectrum of usable shotguns but the main sort of like advantage here is that it's a relatively easy one to unlock for crafting which means it might be the first opportunity that a new or returning player has to creating a shotgun that is better than average and has better than average selection of perks uh, well traits and all of that on there but that's it it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world and until next video fucking cheers they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me, best of me.